Hey, I'm Andy, and this year my partner Matthew and I bought our first house together. As soon as we got the keys, I got to work giving the kitchen a bit of a refresh. The kitchen to start had orange wood cabinets and red walls. The backsplash and the countertop were both sort of a gray. The original plan was to paint the walls and paint the cabinets and replace the handles, but we decided that the backsplash and the countertop were just going to stick out like a sore thumb if we didn't replace them as well. And because we were cutting a new countertop, we got the sink. And as far as appliances go, a range hood is pretty affordable to replace, so we did that too. The very first thing we did was remove the countertop, and I was very grateful to have help from Matt's parents and cousins. We hired someone from Kijiji to paint the cabinets for us. You can totally do it yourself and save some money. In this clip, the cabinets had just gotten their first coat of primer. I was so thrilled to be getting rid of the red from the wall that I forgot I had to patch holes. So I patched the holes between the first and second coat of primer because I actually had to paint the whole kitchen three times to get full coverage from the dark red. With all the prep that is involved with painting, it is a lot harder than it looks on YouTube. But it's definitely a cost-effective way to really change a space a lot. time for me to paint the tile backsplash with this rustoleum tub and tile paint. I was so confident going into this and you can see from these videos that my confidence dwindles fast. The consistency was very runny and drippy and the first coat looked horrible and I was filled with doubt and dread that I had ruined the tiles. But after the second coat, it actually looked fine. So, what a roller coaster. I thrifted this dark wood table and chair set for the Eden kitchen area. I got it on Facebook Marketplace, but I didn't think that the dark wood was gonna match the kitchen, so I flipped it. I sanded it down, restained it, and painted it green. I was very close to painting our kitchen cabinets green, but I kind of chickened out and just wanted to go with something more classic, so I made it up to myself by painting this dining set green. Sometimes I forget the camera is rolling and this is one of those instances. This footage is very genuine confusion. I am puzzled putting up my first light. But after I did it for the first time, I was putting up lights all over the house. still as we waited for the countertop to be installed. They were pretty backed up so I was just doing small jobs as I waited and once they finally came they installed the countertop and the sink. I was so excited. Functioning farmhouse sink. 
Wow, dreams really do come true. I'm so excited. We have a little extra piece of wood here that's painted this color, so we're gonna put that there. Oh, I just love how this is all turned out. finally came time to move in and decorate, I was very excited. I've been waiting for this for a while and it was the best part. Fours right next to the afters makes me really proud of how this project turned out. There's obviously moments during a project like this where you can doubt your vision as you have to make decisions before other things are up. And we played it pretty safe with the all white and off white color scheme, but it just looks so big and bright in here and I really love it. Now, our house has a bunch more rooms and they all need makeovers, so I'm gonna make videos for all of them. I'm gonna be starting my very first garden in our backyard, which I'm so excited about. I'll definitely have a couple of dinner parties. And in between that, I'll be making things with beads or clay or my sewing machine. So if you're into that kind of thing and you want to keep watching, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week.